Today on Sledhead 24-7, we evaluate a Polaris snowmobile that can do no wrong. The 800 Switchback Assault is a crossover that performs in every situation. We ride an all-new engine platform from Skidoo as we ride with magazine editors to give you the inside scoop. Speedworks shows us how to ditch bang as we evaluate their Articat trail sleds. CNA Pro Skis are the best in the business. We'll show you firsthand a before and after evaluation you won't want to miss. And from modern cross-country racing to vintage iron, Articat fans gather for the biggest vintage event on snow. Sledhead 24-7 starts right now. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, here with my boys, Mac and Fish. And oh my goodness, what have you guys gotten into? Last thing left, I think we gotta just see if it runs. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with my co-hosts, Paul Mack and Jeff Fisher. And we're here on the trails in central Minnesota, my old stomping grounds. You know, we're all doing some evaluating today. We're going to put the snowmobiles through the paces, fish. We're checking out the gear. We're going to evaluate everything, tell you what's good and what isn't. Well, yeah, you know what, Polly, Misha? You know, if we get going here, we should be able to click another 100 miles off today, but I hope Paul, you can keep up with Misha and I. You gotta quit, you know, kind of being a Sally there. He's got a point there. But you know, we're all chomping at the bit to get riding, but coming up first, we're gonna evaluate one of our test sleds. So take a look at this. Within the past decade, crossover snowmobile sales have grown tremendously. Before a snowmobiler lays down their hard-earned money on a sled, they want a machine that delivers dependability, performance, and versatility. Polaris has a high-performance machine in their lineup that fits the bill. The 800 Switchback Assault 144. Oh my gosh, the Polaris Assault. Nothing like it. It's been ridden everywhere. We've had it out west, we've had it out east, we've had it here in the flatland. It's a very good all-purpose sled from deep snow, trail riding. That machine does it all. It's an 800, it's a 144 track, inch and three eighths Cobra, which is a very fast track. I love the way I sit on it. Standing up, the bars are just the right height for me. Everything about it is perfect. The engine, the pull, the power, the suspension. It's got Walker Evans shocks. The thing doesn't bottom out. It just sucks up all the bumps. From coast to coast, Sledhead 24-7 has tested this sled in every condition. Whether it's big bumps or deep powder, the Assault delivers the goods. You know, I've personally ridden this sled from Maine to Montana. We've been all over the country with this sled. Levi LaValle rode with us on the East Coast as the Switchback Assault was tested by average snowmobilers. Everywhere we go, we get the same response. Everybody falls in love with that assault. They love the power, they love the handling. If you had to go buy a sled right now, you'd go get yourself a new assault. Tell me why that is. The throttle response is awesome. It's got a lot of power, snappy. I just love the power. I love the traction that it gets. It's surprisingly an excellent sled on the trail. It does not push like the way I expected it. When you go into corners, it corners amazing, and then you get right on the throttle and get right out of it. It was, it was great. So you can pretty much go anywhere, do whatever you want with really? the assault. Oh, that's awesome. The adjustability on the suspension was amazing. It was so quick and easy. It is a very versatile sled. I mean, between trail riding, going off, ditch pounding, whatever you're doing, if you're off in the deep snow, the on trail, it works for everything. If you're looking for a high-performance sled that can handle everything you can throw at it, take a look at the Polaris 800 Switchback Assault 144. Oh. 
I just love the Switchback Assault from Polaris. It is such an amazing crossover sled. You know, it really is, Misha. Even though it's a 144, it handles so fantastic on the trails. It has great trail manners. It's got tipped up rear rails, so it goes through anything. You can get an optional deep love track for it. Take it out to the mountains, and you got yourself a mini RMK. Not to mention the Walker Evans shocks to take all those big hits. It's just an awesome sled. Well, right sledder, stay right where you are because sledded 24-7 will be right back. When we returned, Skidoo invited us on a media all-star editorial ride to report on their exciting new technology for 2014. We test Speedworks products in a head-to-head -head evaluation. Whether it's a two-stroke or a boosted four-stroke, Speedworks has Articat trail sleds dialed in. CNA Pro Skis are the best way to personalize your sled. Watch as we perform a before and after test on our Skidoo Renegade. And the biggest Articat vintage gathering of the year is on Lake Waconia in Minnesota. Find out why Articat fans are some of the most colorful on snow. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by FXR, world-class outerwear. Stud Boy, traction with an attitude. By Spy Optics. And by Polaris, terrain domination. Welcome back to Sled Out 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with my co-host, Paul Mack. And coming up next, we're gonna show you some exciting innovations from Skidoo for 2014. That's right, Misha. Not only does Skidoo bring great technology into the market, they've got our motion, T-Motion, the E-Tech engines, which are some of the cleanest, most efficient, most powerful engines in all of snowmobiling, but they give attention to the details, the little things that make snowmobiling so much more enjoyable, and it's also affordable. So what Paul is talking about is a brand new engine for 2014, as well as groundbreaking refinements to the hand control. So I don't want to give any more away. Take a look at this. Skidoo invited Sledhead 24-7 on an exclusive Media All-Stars test session to ride and evaluate a brand new four-stroke known as the ACE 900. The 900 ACE, the torque of this motor is very impressive. You get on it and it pulls, it just pulls really strong from clutch engagement all the way up. The ACE 900 fits a, a nice middle ground between the, the 600 ACE and then the Skidoo's 1200. The ACE 900 is available in three chassis configurations, TNT, GSX, and Touring. The new three-cylinder four-stroke produces a reliable 23 miles per gallon. But that's not where it ends. The ACE 900 offers more engine adjustability than any other snowmobile before it. I first thing I noticed was how smooth the power. I mean, I always like the four-stroke and how smooth a four-stroke motor is. But what's neat about this one is it has three different modes. You have an econo mode, a standard mode, and a sport mode. Switching between modes while riding, you can do that on this. You can do on the fly. So you can go from sport. If you decide, like this morning, it was a little icy, so I flipped it to standard, which was a little nicer, a little more controllable, like a traction control in the icy conditions. And what's nice is you can do it on the fly. You know, had it pinned and was going along and, and reached down and touched a magic button and immediately picked up 50K. It was just immediately picked up and it was linear, but yet it was also an acceleration feel that I was missing in that eco mode. What's really neat about this 900 Ace is the ease of throttle. It's just effortless. It's almost, you got to look down every once in a while and make sure you do have a throttle there. It is that easy. The throttle by wire system is, is not new to motorsports, but it's brand new to snowmobiling, and I think it's the new benchmark. Another thing on this 900 Ace that's really, I think, very advanced in the snowmobile end is they have a learning key, which you can actually set it for slower speeds for, I can see the rental companies loving it. Uh, the dad who wants to have their kids take it a little cool at first and grow into it, very, very nice, because they can actually have a key that actually keeps the speed down. It doesn't mean it, it's lower on horsepower, it actually electronically monitors it. With the intelligent throttle, learning key, and three driving modes, the ACE 900 is a platform that fits every skill level. It's a snowmobile that can fit so many different styles of riding and so many different people. You know, for me, if I'm out ripping around with the boys, I can put it in sport mode and in this chassis, it just, it, it handles like a skidoo, it feels like a skidoo, it's got enough power to keep up with anybody. It's a very nice snowmobile. But then 
you know, if my if my wife took it out, for instance, I don't think she'd like the jumpiness of the sport mode. I think she'd want to tame it down to the, the standard mode. For my children, I think I'd want them to be down on the on the eco mode or even use the learning key, and, and they could have a completely different ride experience than I would be having. So it's it's one snowmobile that fits my entire family, and I think that's that's the real key. Yeah, the potential of the 900 Ace is, I think, endless. We've had a chance to ride it in the TNT, a GSX, and a touring model. Uh, all very, very nice sleds. As a touring sled, I, unbelievable. I can see going out and hitting it on a condo and getting just gobs of mileage. I mean, you'll be not stopping for fuel, definitely. It's, it's that good. Stay tuned as we review the Ace 900 and report on the other advancements Skidoo offers for 2014. Wow, the Ace 900 four-stroke, what an incredible snowmobile, and it really is a sled that a family can grow into. No, yeah, from the young to the old, it's, it has everything, and they're going to have it in three different chassis, a Touring, a GSX, and a TNT, so they're going to use this motor in a vast variety of sleds. Absolutely, and talk a little bit about the throttle. Well, this is, like we said, an industry first for the snowmobile industry, cableless throttle, all electronic, very little effort to push it. And you know, from touring sleds to mountain sleds, Skidoo is really filling in a large gap with the four stroke 120 horsepower market. I think it's gonna be a huge success. Well, all right, Sledder, stay right where you are because Sledder 24 seven has more action coming your way. When Sledhead 24 seven returns, take a history ride with Articat fans at the world's largest gathering of vintage sleds. From Jaguars to Panthers, we'll check out all the cool cats on parade and discover why old school rules. But first, let's take a look at the Articat Cross Country Racing Team. They've been on top of their game all season long. At the prestigious I-500, Articat won hard-fought races in 13 of the 16 classes, including a big win by Ryan Simons in the Pro 600 class. Ryan and that Christian Brothers racing team set the pace all season long. Really, really good weekend. Um, track was great. All the crew workers did great. Um, my team, my sled was amazing. I've never rode a sled on ice that worked this well, so got to thank Christian Brothers huge and my crew. Our congrats to Ryan Simons and Team Articat for a great season on the USXC. Now stay tuned. Plenty more ahead on Sledhead 24-7. Welcome back to Sled Out 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with my co-host, The Fish. And coming up next, we're going to show you how to tailor your sled's handling with CNA Pro Skis. Yeah, the CNA Pro Skis, what I took is one of my uh, many sleds in my arsenal here, and I decided to use a Skidoo Renegade, bolted a set of CNA Pro Razors on this baby, and took it for a ride. All right, Jeff. Well, let's see what you did. Take a look at this. In stock form, our Skidoo Renegade pushed through the corners when ridden aggressively. We prefer a more connected feel through the handlebars, so we upgraded to CNA Pro Razors along with Stud Boy Shaper Bars. To perform an accurate evaluation, the same sled was used in the same corner to prove the benefit of positive control. As you can see, the stock skis pushed as the sled was driven hard through the apex of the corner. After installing the CNA razors, the same sled on the same corner railed with positive and accurate control. If you want more control and better handling from your sled, upgrading to CNA Pro Skis is the first place to start. Well, Jeff, it's pretty obvious to me, but tell everybody at home, why do you run on CNAs? Well, we here at Sledhead 24-7, we do ride a little aggressive, and we like our sleds to turn lay a little flatter and with the CNA Pro skis they'll do that we feel a lot more confident at speeds. And you combine these with stud boy wear bars your sled is going to turn on a dime. We also run CNA Pro skis on our Articats. Let's check out how our stock sled stacks up against the Speedworks mod. We're out today at Speedworks with Jeremy Hull. Jeremy we stopped by to see what the new goodies are. Tell us what we got. Well, Paul, um, what we're going to do here today, we got one of our shop 1100 turbo four stroke sleds with our stage one kit. And then we have our stage one kit on our F800 as well. Uh, we're going to give you guys some time on this thing, kind of show you guys how these two turbo sleds compare today and let Paul ride these things and let you guys, uh, he's going to let you guys know what he thinks about them too. Nothing exceeds like excess. So let's check this out.
Paul and Jeremy test the stock F1100 turbo against the Speedworks Stage 1 sled. Time after time, the Stage 1 sled pulls away from the stock. With 240 horsepower on tap, the Mog flat out embarrasses the stocker. From the lake to the trails, the guys test the Speedworks Stage 1 F800. So Paul, you know, we've been at it hard here pretty much all day. We've been out on the lake, we've been on some hard packed, uh, freshly groomed trails. We've been in the tight woods and stuff here. What do you think? No, the F800 Pro Cross from Articat, this thing is so bad to the bone. Snow Pro is a fantastic snowmobile as it is from Articat. But you know, nothing exceeds like excess. You always want a little bit more, you want a little bit better. Put the Stage 1 kit on, 10 more horsepower, lighter weight. It's even more nibble through the woods. You can throw it left to right, dice it, chop it, slice it. This thing does it all. And there's something for everybody at Speedworks, as we all know. You want the big kahuna, you want big power, big turbo. Get into the Stage 1 kit here. Now we've got mega boost. You have really hit a home run once again, Jeremy. If you want more performance from your Articat, check out Speedworks. Still ahead, if you love vintage sleds, you're in luck. We attend the Wobble Ride and show you some of the most colorful riders on snow. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Articat, share our passion. Speedworks, straight up USA horsepower. By GoPro, be a hero. And by Skidoo. Welcome back to Sled at 24 7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, coming to you from the trails in Minnesota. And coming up next, we're going to meet some die hard Articat riders that almost literally bleed green. Take a look at this. Old school rules. That just might be the theme for the largest vintage snowmobile gathering in the world. For more than 20 years, fans of classic sleds have gathered on Lake Waconia near Minneapolis, Minnesota. Part swap meet, ice drag, and expo. It's also an opportunity to check out the cats on parade. There's thousands of people here, and we're just hanging out, talking about the good old days of snowmobiling, and it's affordable and it's fun, and it's not just for old guys. I mean, there's tons of young people here that are into this too. This oldies but goodies party is a weekend celebration on a frozen lake that's also frozen in time. But Lake Waconia is also the perfect place for Articat fans to swap stories and share their passion for their beloved machines. I love the cat because my dad uh, introduced me to Articats back when I was six years old. I just always, always kind of ventured towards the Articat. Because it's cool to see how they've changed over time and they they have different designs and colors and stuff. Because we remember riding them when we were younger and uh, they're easier to keep going. The folks green with envy are the Arctic Cat collectors, busy shopping for parts or even a memory at the swap meet. Some of the more colorful classic cat models sound like they belong in the wild. Yeah, the Panther, uh, the Lynx, the Cheetah, the Puma. Oh, and don't forget the El Tigre and Pantera. They're the swap meets where the old cats come to life. This one here, uh, it, it has a lot of power. It's a 440 Panther. Um, that one over there is a 340 Cheetah. But they all have this, this, uh, this type of seat. Cheetah seat, uh, like, a, like a pause. The need for speed never grows old. This drag race team from Iowa keeps the old cats purred. Running good. I'm proud of it for today. Probably doing about 75, 76. Uh, the smaller the CC, the more finicky it is. And it's just long hours at work and, and trying to burn candles at both ends. It's, it's kind of tough uh, working on stuff that's you know, 25, 30 years old. It's, you know, it's, it's a challenge, you know, so. And it's a learning curve and it's neat. Now, and the other thing I like is when I can come to these races and visit with the other Articat guys and we swap stories and talk tech tips and stuff like that. So it's pretty good. 
Vintage cats are one-way sledders can pass on the tradition of snowmobiling, and new pages of history are being written each day. It's impressive to witness the evolution and constant upgrading of the Articat line. One can only wonder what the next generation of sleds will bring to the trails. Well, there is certainly no doubt about it. Those Articat riders love their green. Yes, they do. You know, those are the most enthusiastic riders. All these vintage guys, the builders, the racers, they're so into this sport. You add that mix in with the Articat Loyalist and you've got a pretty colorful combination fish. What well, colorful? Remember the leopard skin seat covers? And Polly, don't you have a helmet and a suit to match that? The bubble shield. You know, if I had the equipment back in the day that these guys have today, it would have been a whole different ball game. For well, right, all right. These guys can go on and on and on about their glory days and leopard uniforms and everything. But that's all the time we have for this edition of Sledded 24 7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with my co hosts and tech experts, Paul Mack and Jeff Fisher. Make sure to visit us online at sledhead24-7.com or visit us on Facebook and on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time. Next week on Sledhead 24-7, we feature the fastest production sled on snow. The Articat F1100 Turbo RR is the cream of the crop. With nearly 180 horsepower, Check out how we set up this beast to tackle the bumps. If you're a snowmobiler, chances are you own a truck. We'll show you how Ram Trucks have stepped up in the snowmobile industry as the official sponsor of Amsoil Championship Snowcross. By now, most people know what a GoPro is. And if you don't, you'll want to see the amazing footage they offer. From racing to capturing your first powder turn, GoPro is the best bang for your buck when it comes to point of view cameras. And we evaluate our long haul demo sled from Skidoo. We'll show you how our accessorized Renegade 800 held up after a season of abuse. Those stories and more, all next week on Sledhead 24 7.